So our final race from Taunton is going to be the start of Zoolers. Chase qualifier, leg seven, very small field here, where four will qualify. It's over two miles and two furlongs, and 0-110 0-10 handicap. So the Grey Bomber for Punchable Racing is their top weight. Pompeo Adrenaline for Vinny Gerard, Matt Cooper's Pizza Hut, Pedro Hogan's Madam May Lynn. Alex Cherry's Church Gaze and Martin Leedham's Reference Point. So just six with four will qualify. We might have missed out on a few things here. The starter's got them under orders. Flags dropped and they're all way. So as that goes through the first furlong or so. It's a reference point pulling for his head. And the two greys, Pizza Hut and the grey bomber. Church Gale go over the first, a couple of mistakes by both of the greys there. The one that took the biggest dive of it was Matt Cooper's Pizza Hut. Almost joined Madame May Lynn and Pompeii Adrenaline. They were happy to sit at the back. So as they go through the first quarter mile, it's reference point that they hasn't taken it up into the big ditch. They all clear that. Leads by about three to line of horses, Church Gate, Pizza Hut, the Grey Bomber and Pompeii Adrenaline. May Lim was a little bit slow over that, the third. So as we get into racing order, then his reference point that's going to lead us. Oh, just off the bit a little bit there. Oh, and he's gone. He didn't look settled. We've lost the lead up. So now only five left. So four of these will qualify. Easy little qualification into the final on week 13. But it's the great bomber that now leads. Oh, he's got the loose horse to contend with. Church Hall, although I think I've been calling that Church Gate, and I think it's actually called Church Gaze, so uh, good on me. I get into the fifth, this time Church Gaze, went over it a bit like a Church Gate. Into the sixth, they'll clear that same mistake again by Church Gaze, could well be a goner on the next if he doesn't settle, but it's Pizza Hut that now takes it up from Pompeii Adrenaline, the grey bomber gets over that much better this time, Church Gaze. We're flip-flopping up front. Now the Grey Bomber decides to take it up just by a neck, and then Pompey Adrenaline Pizza Hut come back at him. Still got the loose horse in front to contend with. The Bomber's just uh, going to try and get past it now. And we've got Madame May Lynn and Church Gaze just at the rear. Down with a mile left to travel, and it's Pizza Hut that now takes it up from the Great Bomber from Pompeii Adrenaline. Madame May Lynn up on the inside. Church Gay's going back up wide. As they approach the next loose horse reference point. Could get in the way as they all clear the eighth there. Another six to take. They go down the back straight here at Taunton. Race of the day here before we go over to Newbury to finish the week. They get over the ninth this time. Madame May Lim was a little bit slow over it. Now off the bridle and starting to be pushed along. They go over the tenth. This time a mistake by Pompey Adrenaline. So they're flip flopping the mistakes as well as the lead. And it's this Pizza Hut and Church Gaze now. Then we've got the loose horse, which is certainly causing the Grey Bomber a few problems. They get into the 11th, they will take it well. And it's this Church Gaze and Pizza Hut that have taken a length advantage out of everybody. Then we've got out wide the Grey Bomber, who's off the bridle now and starting to try and get closer order all the time. And then Madame May Lynn and Pompey Adrenaline, but still up front, it's Pizza Hut and Church Gaze. Followed through by the Grey Bomber, making up good ground there. Madame May Lynn starting to fly in on the wide outside, and Pompey Adrenaline were inside a two and a half. They're over the 12th, the three from home. There's just two to take now, and it's Pizza Hut that still leads from Church Gaze and Madame May Lynn out wide. And it's Madame May Lynn that gets away from the penultimate better than all. It's Madame May Lynn from Church Gaze, Pizza Hut, the Grey Bomber, but Madame May Lynn coming down to the last. He gets over it well. Pedro Hogan's Madame May Lynn's going to take for the start of all these six. Leg 7 qualify here from Pizza Hut and Church Gaze will also qualify as well as the Grey Bomber. And then one, two, three. Ooh, maybe the Grey Bomber got touched off just at the end by Pompey Adrenaline. We'll wait for the card. The Grey Bomber might not be going to the final unless he's already qualified. We've had seven weeks. Most of these run after qualifying still. So it is Madame May Lynn that takes this from Pizza Hut in second. Then Church Gaze in third. And I think Pompey Adrenaline. 
It is Pompeo drilling for Verini Gerard just gets up ahead to the Grey Bomber and nicks the last qualification place for fourth and the Grey Bomber was fifth.